All right, Java 11, and we got our first program here. And I know that there are several of you that have asked a f quite a few questions. Um, when you're installing this, actually, you can just install BlueJ. And actually, if you choose version 3.27 or something in the version 3 se section, you'll end up with a um, program that we can do just the basics and not be all... Uh, what we're working with in this course is a lot of just the basics and not all the new um, bells and whistles. So I'm just going to run down a video here showing kind of all these steps. Um, but basically what I want to show you is step 7 here where we're just going to copy and paste this code down to these brackets to make sure we get all of the brackets. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to jump in over to uh, BlueJ. So let's do that. And I'm going to make a new class. doesn't matter what I call it. And I'm going to double click on it to open up the opportunity to edit in here. I'll just select all the code and delete it. And I'm just going to paste in that code. And if I do this, I can hit compile. At the bottom, no errors. We're good. I can now go to this box, right click on it, and choose void main. So I go to that box. Again, I right click go to the main box here, click on it, and then say OK. And what happens is, I'll bring it up, this little window pops up and says hello world, and so the output shows up. And so you can see that in my code, it says to system to print the line hello world. And that is exactly what has happened in that box there. So that's what I'm looking for you to do. Now your task is to go into this code, change this hello world, and make it say something else. Uh, you can use your name, address, whatever. You can choose something else. I just want to see your words on more than one line. So I just need multiple lines of some other text. You don't have to provide personal information. It's up to you. All right, I hope that helps.